Hi, this is Omar Abdul-Gawad. In this lecture, we're going to discuss Seaver's apophysitis, uh, which is a very common cause for heel pain in children. What are the objectives of this lecture? First, we'd like to explain the pathology of the Seaver's apophysitis. Second, we'd like to uh, describe the clinical presentation of this condition. And then we're going to describe the management of children presenting with Seaver apophysitis. A good source that you can use is this book written by myself and Dr. Naga. Before we speak about the pathology of Seaver's disease, let's first speak about the anatomy of this area. So this is an x-ray of the calcaneus. This is the main bone. Uh, here is the growth plate, uh, which allows the calcaneus to grow longitudinally in this way. And here is uh, the second eosophic center. Uh, second eosophic center in most bones are called epiphysis. However, in the calcaneus, we call it the apophysis. Why is that? Two main reasons. Uh, first, it's not part of the joint. So if you see this bone, uh, does not um, involve in forming any joint it's not articulating with any other bone the second thing it has muscle attachment to it uh, so uh, the um, Achilles uh, uh, tendon is attached to the calcaneal apophysis uh, which connect it to the gastrocnemius muscle so we have the gastrocnemius muscle goes to the uh, achilles tendon attached in the calcaneal apophysis also the calcaneal apophysis has the attachment here of the plantar fascia so this is the main part of the calcaneus this is the growth plate which allow the bone to grow in this way and this is the second eosophic center we call it the calcaneal apophysis severe disease happen in the calcaneal apophysis so what is the exact pathology for severe disease? Actually, it's not uh, known for sure why severe disease happen. Uh, most people uh, think it's a traction injury for the calcaneal apophysis. Uh, it's subjected to uh, lots of stress uh, through the uh, Achilles tendon by the gastrocnemius muscle and through the uh, plantar fascia. So this will cause micro trauma to the calcaneal apophysis. And uh, some people think it may go up to the level of stress fracture. So what is the clinical presentation for severe disease? It's more common in boys between the age of 9 to 12 years old. However, with more girls now participating in active sports at earlier age, uh, the disease is showing similar distribution between boys and girls, and it may appear at an earlier age. Uh, the child will come with pain over the heel, and when you examine the child and press on the calcaneal tuberosity, there will be tenderness at that point. So let's discuss now x-ray in cases of severe disease. Uh, so this is an x-ray lateral view of the calcaneus. Uh, so you, if you can see here, there is a sclerosis of the calcaneal apophysis. Uh, previously, this was thought to be a, an indication for severe disease. However, uh, we know now that uh, sclerosis of the calcaneal ap uh, apophysis, as you can see in this x-ray, the calcaneal apophysis is more dense than the rest of the bone. Uh, this happened actually uh, with the same incidence in normal uh, children and in children with severe disease, uh, so we can, cannot depend on sclerosis as a diagnosis for severe disease. Uh, it was found, however, that um, the fragmentation, as you can see in this x-ray, in this line and in this sign, fragmentation happens uh, more frequently in case of severe disease. It can still occur in normal um, uh, cases of uh, ossification of calcaneus in normal children. However, it happens with more uh, frequency in cases of severe disease. Uh, so uh, you get an x-ray, uh, mainly to see if there is other causes of pain uh, like if there is a tumor or if there is a cyst uh, but uh, severe disease uh, mainly is a disease of clinical diagnosis not uh, a disease uh, not in x-ray in x-ray you may see increased instances of fragmentation uh, as you see in this x-ray so what's the treatment for severe disease? It's mainly symptomatic treatment. Rest is the most important thing. Uh, so you convince the parents and the child that they have to decrease their activity so that they can decrease the stresses on the calcaneal apophysis and allow it to heal. Also non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication like ibuprofen and stretching exercises because one of the theories uh, for severe disease, it may be related to tight Achilles. So with stretching of the Achilles, uh, that will decrease the stresses on the calcaneal apophysis. If the above measure fails, um, so orthopedic referral for a short leg walking cast um, and that uh, should help the patient go through their pain it will give them uh, more uh, opportunity to heal uh, their injury of the calcaneal apophysis and it will allow the child uh, uh, to rest and uh, stop the sport activity and usually uh, the symptoms will uh, improve in uh, three to four weeks uh, severe disease does not have a place for surgery uh, thank you very much. All my videos are for educational purpose only. Please consult your doctor before any decision. Thank you.